when Batman meets Godzilla. Prince Commissioner Gordon, his daughter Barbara, of taking a well deserved rest aboard a far eastern cruising ship. Gordon is making a silly business trip by visiting various police facilities in the Orient to learn how wrongdoers are dealt with in other lands. Barbara is eager to renew acquaintance with a colleague chum of hers, Vizar Rico Hamalo, who currently holds the post of assistant librarian in Western culture at the University of Tokyo. Yo. Trip had been quite eventful for the first four days, and now only one day out of Tokyo, strolling the deck in what appears to be a fine autumn weather. Suddenly, without any warning, an enormous tidal wave rocks the boat and causes it to dance as if it were a toy. Many people sweat overboard to be kissed to death by the sea. Barbara and her father only manage to survive when the water sweeps them inside an open door rather than across the deck. The boat stays afloat, but is severely damaged. Investigation shows that no tidal wave had been predicted. Indeed, radar had seen the wave come up less than three miles away from the ship. For no apparent reason, the ship limps into the Tokyo Bay for repairs. At the hotel, Gordon is connected to an old friend of his, Oto Nagoro, Oto Pole's Far Eastern chief. Nagoro tells Gordon, there have been a series of natural disasters similar to a tidal wave in the past 48 hours, and all of them occurred with no warning. Nabooru, too, normally a very cold city at this time of year, so it's from a heat wave. They set temperatures to go to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, because many people to die of the heat. God has shown films of this happening, various things melting in the street, the various highest previous temperature was 136.4 degrees, said Lewis Mitzko, August 11th, 1933. Further, an earthquake shook Mercosimo and destroyed many buildings. The Richter's Chainscraft measured no underground movement, yet the earth crumbled and thousands were lost. To fans at lost to determine why, Barbara presses the computer and learns only one, one clue might be the presence of Coles Finster. The German meteorologist who has recently emigrated for, for 20 years in Argentina. We have a flashback scene. Vista approached the government just yesterday and claimed the person who was controlling the weather. They laughed at him and shunted him aside as it was well known that no man could do such a thing. Vista, in a fit of play, who has said that he would destroy the Japanese mainland within seven days, he was not immediately paid. Fifty million in gold. Gordon says it looks like a case of Batman. He, he called. He call. Otto smiles and said he would not request Gordon directly to do such a thing. I knew Gordon would understand the Oriental roundabout way of asking. Gordon immediately puts in a long distance call to his office in Gotham City. Barbara leaves to visit her friend at the library, or so she says. Actually, she goes out and purchases a Japanese motorcycle. Her father is busy contracting Batman. I buy it and renting a space in an empty garage. She begins to strip it down and convert it into a bicycle. Gordon has asked Nahara to get Batman to call him back in Japan. Type of scissors be what they are. Bruce Wayne is around at a sleep and sleep to take the call. He phones Gordon as Batman and says he'll do what he what he, he will be in Bat Tokyo in twelve hours. Extreme pleasure to aid the imperial government in overcoming any danger. He does this after first checking with O'Hara to see any armed villains on the loose in the uh, Gotham City. It won't be, it won't do to leave the city unguarded. O'Hara assures him he will watch the city and will let Batman know if he's needed to quell any disturbances. Last week, Sean Batman and Robin drive out of the open airport where Alfred already has a brand new bat, bat jet warming up. They drive the boat to put the deal on the high board the ship and take off. The auto is now notified the government, who in turn notified the news media. Word goes out, Batman is coming. In the ground bunker, deep beneath the heights of Mount Fuji, close faced her, surrounded by sycophants, is playing his next move, a typhoon on Kusima, 
the city's southern gate of Tosco. He makes one further call to the government and says he will cause one disaster each day. Every day until on the seventh day he will completely destroy the country. Nobody leaves him. Indeed, he get, he's unable to get it to anyone. Authority of bureaucracy being what it is. Steamy Cross go, goes to an elaborate control room. Repellent with turgid screens. Lots of, lots of owls and lights. It is in his control booth that he controls the greatest natural disaster in the country, known as the nat- for natural disasters, Godzilla. He can learn a cross found Godzilla hibernated and implanted in an electronic voice in the monster's brain, which he can be manipulated. Cars sits on what looks almost like an airplane console and can make the monster move in any direction. The moment Godzilla is 36,200 feet of water in the Mesa Trench. The deepest part of the sea, where he goes in between missions for Cluster. In that depth, it is possible to find and kill. Curse at the great Godzilla, we see him arise in the murky waters and begin to walk across the ocean floor, sending clouds of mud flying in every direction. Meanwhile, the good Godzilla treads full towards his next terrible deed. Batman and Robin flying at twice the speed of sound in a Mark free jet. Robin radios ahead of the Tokyo airport. They are they're, they're arriving. They are instructed to see Japan Airlines, Danish Strip, and Terminal. The sea is at the airport is pandemonium. Anyone can help the political people of Japan. It's Batman. Pan leaves and Robin is mocked. Batman is robbed. Mocked and Batman is driven off the plane. It's being much admired by the drawing throngs. Also watching this from far is Monty's cross facer. Under Mount Fiji, he gives orders to some unseen associate via microwave radio. We see a European at the airport wearing an earring aid. Walk towards Batman and Robin. He introduces himself as Count Dula, formerly of Gotham City, and currently the representative of the Wayne Foundation in Tokyo. Robin wonders the guy is for real, but Batman assures him is at a side that he is. However, Batman notices something different about the Count. He now wears his monocle on his left eye, whereas he used to wear it on his right. Suddenly, just as the Count is removing his monocle, Batman punches him. At that moment, the bullet flies out of the Count's left eye. A bullet Count is down for the Count, and Batman examines him. He sees that this is not the Count at all, but a rather clever robot. Patiently constructed of plastic rubber translators, sisters of resemble human. But then there is where well, is the real Count, a hotel of Nicaro. Tells the, us the answer. The Count is found floating under the Estral River, ever bridge on the St. Maria River. Anything in this possession? A hock of poem which read to Batman, Monsters don't know which way to go unless you know the way. Show them the way. Hmm? Seventeen syllables. But the what, the what is the clue to? Barbara Gordon returns with Wilco Monoto. Now go to the city only months you can remember. Your lifetime was a dread... Godzilla, but it's both dead on a battle with King Kong several years ago. I don't wonder if they are battling Godzilla. They have shown some film of the have wrecked by Godzilla, and they are tying around, and they see a portion of his cut cutlet fight with King Kong. They should have been enough to satisfy the beast. At that moment, they received word that Christ Faiser predicted what happened. Batman says that Faiser must be behind all this and asks to have a meeting arranged with Faiser. He does one. But how does one get in touch with Faiser? No one knows where to find him. He is behind it and is, and is he behind the attempt on Batman's life at the airport? Of course, headquarters, the man is laughing as he watches Tyler proceedings through the eyes of Rico. She is not human at all. I love Robert. Her eyes are tiny military TV cameras and her ears are microphones. Cuss. He's up on it every move. He re- regulates Rico's movements. One hand and sees. Sends Godzilla back to the depths with another. Then he phones Batman at a hotel and says he's quite willing to meet Batman. Raise a deal. That is, if Batman speaks for the country, Batman and May is a close. Knew where to find him. That they will talk what they were talking and says he will only... He will meet the man for the following day. Curse sees Batman should says Batman should wait at the corner and taxi will pick him up and transport him to the meeting place. In Tito, Gordon, Barbara and Rico 
leave after warning Batman to take care. Batman and Robin decide it would be nice to see the city if they re- realise they can't very well go touring in the leotards. Batman says we can't, but Bruce Wayne and Duke Grayson can. He dials an outside line and calls the hotel, asks them for the desk and reserves rooms next to Batman and Robin and names of Dick Grayson and Bruce Wayne. They now they change their very regular clothing to go downstairs via the back way and check in again as Bruce and Dick. They're spotted in the lobby by Barbara, Commissioner Gordon and Rico. They tell the Gordons that they are there to away for foundation business. They receive word that their token representative is missing. They come to choose a new one. Rumor has it, they say, that Batman and Robin are also in a hotel. Commissioner Gordon advises them to leave Batman and Robin alone, as they might need, must get their rest. On the morrow, they have some very important and hush hush work to do. Cuss watches this wolf through Rico's eyes and says, You can do without Gordon or his daughter, as they are Batman's friends, and two American millionaires more or less won't be missed. So, using a high voice, he broadcasts some words through Rico's mouth the fact they might like to go back to Kushu to show them a little for for a little of the local culture. They agree they would be a fine an idea at Kushu. Fears are on the guests. They sit in the front row. On a few moments of the show, which Samurai have seen performing classical play, the actors rush down off the stage at the victors. The front row and begin swinging the burning swords. Bruce, Dick and Barbara and Gordon Managed to survey the flashing blade, but Rico is not so lucky. Her head is severed back from her body. After the burglar screams, they note that no blood seems to come pouring out. All that seems is a mass of electronic wine. Bruce and Dick race out. Of the two actors, of the two, the two of the other actors come on stage and say they found that the original actors bound and gagged in the dressing room. They are then who are the two men in the makeup who attack the audience? In the street, Bruce and Dick race through the alleyways, alleys, some alleys in the hot pursuit. Suddenly, they face a herd, a Kamisuku, a thundering herd, Japanese motorcyclists. The motorcycles bear down on them, and there is no place to run to avoid the bikes. Plus, sharp spikes fruit out from the headlamps of the cycles and rush towards our heroes. Bruce sees overhead fire escape, but... Oh, no, that 12 feet high is too high to jump for himself. He picks up Dick and tosses him up there. Dick hangs up his legs and Bruce executes a perfect trampoline leap. Holds on as any cycle goes underneath him. Bruce and Dick return to the theatre and suggest they would turn in. It's been enough excitement for the night, but they puzzle about what to do with the arrange of Rico. Call in the ticket or the junk man. Next day, Barrett, Man and Robbie reserve a visit. See the visit from the government of Missouri. He refused to be held up for France, and Batman is glad to hear this. No country should knuckle down to the whim of one man. It could still all be coincidence. Perhaps the faces of discovery a new means of weather protection. Prediction. Batman leaves with Robin to meet Crust. Batman, Barbara, observes and leaving, goes for a hat bat change in her room, and takes a service elevator to the basement of the hotel. In the basement, Batman and Robin climb into Batmanville. Don't notice the top of covered no circle in the corner. Batmanville roars out of Soko Street. Batgirl sees them leave. Then gets above that cycle and follows. And not too crowded Tokyo Street corner. Batman and Robin park and see a taxi. A main driving taxi is Kurt's right hand man. We see him earlier. He bids Batman and Robin to get in the taxi. We take him to Klaus. That girl sees this and follows at a short distance, wondering what's going to happen. Man driving a taxi twists the handle. Some clamps bind Batman Robin to the seats, not knowing to reach their quickest utility belts. Then the taxi man presses a button on the handle. The tiny vehicle is locked tight and gas pours in from some concealed rents. With that, the man stops the taxi, waits out, calmly walks away. Batgirl cannot see what's happened to the first. She's viewing from behind. He follows the man for a moment and loses him. He walks inside a public bar for men. Then she turns and sees Batman and Robin struggling for their lives. Gasfield taxi. He puts all the miniature blowtorch from her belt and burns them out. Then she tells them where the men went. They're surprised at seeing her. They have no time to question her as she directs them to the bath where the man disappeared. Batman races inside the bath.
The blind attendant refuses to allow Batman and Robin to go in, go inside unless they remove their clothes, their rules of the house. Generally, we reluctantly remove their uniforms, but the city must wear their masks. We treat the scene as they race nude through the bathhouse, wearing not but their masks of cow. In one corner bathroom house, they find a man floating face down, drowned. On the street, that girl gives him, gives him a hokey, hooked up story about what she's doing in Tokyo. The newspaper boy walks up with the latest paper. Baron reads it. it is an, he's an expert at Japanese, along with his many upper troops. Faisal has notified the government. He intends to create a, brand, a firestorm in Takara, west coast of Japan. Batman, Robin, and Batgirl make haste to leave for that city. In Takara, the city has been excavated. Even if the government doesn't believe that these things can happen, the people do. Batman, Robin, and Batgirl sit in a five-story pergola in the centre of the town and look, look off towards the sea. It's eerily quiet. Batman realizes that all the disasters taking place in coastal cities, which leads him to believe that sinister Pfizer's operating some sort of ambiguous, amphibious vehicle. Suddenly he was struck by a sight of Godzilla. Beast blows in terrible breath and starts a fire and spreads across the city. Jeremy and Drew barely managed to escape aboard the helicopter. Because Godzilla sees him and attempts to bring them down with swipes for his tail and paws. Batman, helicopter, anticipates Godzilla's every move and notes that this animal is not frightening like an animal. He's fighting like a man. All moves seem to be carefully planned, two lefts and right, etc. Mean, certainly not that we expect from a monster with a brain the size of P. Drew returns to Tokyo and asks for immediate appointments of powers in the government. Tokyo Police Headquarters, Batman talks to Police Chief Sekakara Ahara, who resembles our own Chief Ahara, more than little. Ahara offers all his men to help. Just a few more, just a few days until Fisa claims to destroy all of Japan. Batman says they must wait for Fisa's next move. At Tokyo Tea House, Batman and Robin meet with the Minister of Defence for instructions from the heads of the state. Means of from defence. Not only one cent for tribute. Batman is glad to hear this and comments on the courage of these people. That line, same line was uttered by great American Charles Coatsworth Prickley, the Minister of the French Republic in 1797. Batman says he will aid the government with his last drop of blood to defend Japan from his, from his menace. And with that, the Minister of Defence is struck down by poison and tea. Batman manages to save his life as the universal end of it, a racist from over after Geisha that served him. Then, he's not a Geisha at all, but a man in drag. Batman catches up with him in a small room in the tea house. A man is an expert karate, and they begin to f- a fight between the two of them, a ruins the interior of the delicate room. Batman, who's more also pro- brought a ways of war into defence, manages to overcome a man, but... Before he can say anything, he is killed by a minge of mace. He is thrown from the outside window. Assassin flees. Batman speaks before the diet and is overwhelmingly only proved. He says that if they will fight this monster to the death, word is now brought. Oguska is the next target. Aboard a bullet train to Oko Circo, in the private compartment, Batman, Ato, Batman, Robin, Barbara, and Commissioner Gordon. To discuss the situation, Batman chooses his place to talk because it seems very, very other place is a swarming, bugging devices and oh god, it, it seems like the safest place of conversation and fastest way to host Coco as the roads leave. Much to be desired, Barbara makes some comment about attempting to find Bows and Dick. Batman says, Mears, my, my, my sisters, they and the Grayson told him they went off and toured an open interior. Batman tells the other, Pfizer not, must be beheld all this and somehow harnessed the incredible power of Godzilla with his own uses. Even this train is not safe from Pfizer's praying eyes. Curse is being watched, uh, has seen, he's seen, watching their every move. The train conductor is one of them. Real conductor tied up and struggling in the washroom. 
Two good mice have planted compartments of Vista. Knows exactly what his plan. Ito and Goto, Gordon and Barbara set off the trains and the Gora and to do, as do all the other passengers. Only two people are willing to take the ride at Oscar. Robin, Batman Robin, at the station, Barbara slips away for her father, who builds a train's back girl. So five and almost, so do five and almost women. They attack the diagnostic duel and the fight ensues in the railroaded car that absolutely v- destroys the place. Batman, Robin and Batgirl merge victorious as they were, their wise trials yet to come. Their wise trials are yet to come. <sighs> Stepping out the waters of the icy bay comes Godzilla, the bullet goes right up past his bay. Godzilla destroys the train and sends Batman and Robin flying into the water. It picks him, crushes Batgirl and looks at her. Love seeing the happiness of Godzilla. Despite all the efforts of Klaus to have the animal crush the girl, he will overcome the adrenaline force. His attitude deposits her gently by the side of the road and leaves. His move is not lost on Batman, who rightly recognizes that Godzilla himself may not be so bad, rather, it was the force behind him. Godzilla leaves his straight Oskoska. The army attempts to stop him from multiples, rockets, etc. They are wiped out. Dragon Tokyo. The other country that knows that that's causing all the trouble. Godzilla returned to talk them. Very soon they notifies the government that the next target is Tokyo. Come across with the money. Or, 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 or. Tokyo's gone. Batman and Robin meet with Ito and Gordon. Eight million people evacuated in less than 12 hours. Fantastic feat for people moving. Yeah, it has been decided that since nothing can stop Godzilla, there's no use to try. Even the army leaves. All Tokyo is empty. Faisal sees the city uh, emptying and notes that there will be no defence. He is so flushed out with a hideout, he takes the opportunity to ride through the, the empty streets of Tokyo. Probably the first time these streets have been empty since Tokyo was found. His arm is portable Godzilla control. There are runs the rest at the bottom of Tokyo Bay, waiting to be called. Meanwhile, Batman rubbing Batgirl with the corpse of Cops of Japanese scientists are busy working as a large distant laboratory outside town. But I'm introduced that Godzilla is seen very every five years or so. Why does he return at these times? Perhaps he's looking for rate. But what 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 in the world can Godzilla make with? Is Godzilla male or female? Batman reckons you male. And so he and the scientists are building a hope will simulate the mating call a female Godzilla. In Tokyo, facing his men are having a wonderful time. Looting and destroying the empty stores. Everything had been ever wanted in his plan. The other thing realized that this is an ambush planned by Batman. Terminate true and counterfacer. They men on the Tokyo street and the battle begins. A fight that takes them all around Tokyo winds up the cozy and building when Feister slips and falls and dies. It must seem now that all is well, but it isn't. Well, that, when the possible goes in the mover, it's smashed. The you know, answer is free to roam on his own. People looking back into Tokyo as Godzilla rises from the steps and proceeds to take Tokyo apart. In one mighty swipe of his tail, he knocks down Tokyo down. His flame for his lips and gulfs a 37 story Kazara building. His left foot steps on a history bridge and crosses it. He remembers the army that was called in, but to no avail, Godzilla sweeps them still the side of in parallel energy, orgy of destruction. Batman and Robin and Batgirl powerless to stop him. He leap onto the Batman deal and tried to get out of town in the laboratory. Godzilla stops at the Batman deal, lots of Batman deal, and lifts it up. Batman and Robin escape, but Batgirl was taken by it into the Scottish uh, land. Robin, Batman and Robin are stunned by this t- t- turn of events and realize they cannot do anything about it with their puny human facilities. The Batgirl struggles in this pole, but Godzilla continues to sweep aside 
If it stands in his way, he crushes the Tokyo shopyards, several office buildings, carefully aimed rockets, blow and rigs, drawing him out away from the city. He's approaching Cardenria, about 30 miles away. Batman gets his lamp and garters and garners the considered call. The scientists have already have also fully provided him with its auxiliary Batmobile. It might have built as a replica of the original, but it's every bit as good as the original and fine commentary a Japanese workshop. Batman gets to the lab and the garners and the going garners the cosidical. Scientists have all thoughtfully provided him in Zenery Bat Batmobile and can build a replica of the original. It's every bit as good as the original and fine commentary. The Japanese workmanship. Batman phone the Japanese aerospace administrative office in Jefferson. Right, let's bit again, sorry about this. Batman gets to the lab and garners the Godzilla call. The scientists have also thoughtfully provided him with Zedary's Batmobile. It built his replica of the original. It's every bit as good as the original and flying commentary a Japanese workshop. Batman phones the Japanese aerospace administrative offices at Jessa. Tells them to proceed in phase two of the plan. It drives into the Tokyo. Meanwhile, Godzilla gets closer and closer as Kisara, a national shrine in Japan, is Tokyo is a mess. Shambles, Godzilla is wrought havoc and felt destruction again. Batman dresses an enormous crowd in Tokyo Square or some marine area. Already photographed with durable human, human uh, hundred thousand stoop shot. Turned into a few hinks, get rid of Godzilla for all time. There are two ways to do it. Activate a volcano, lure Godzilla aside where he can be condemned to flames or send him miles away from Japan to float to outer space forever. In keeping him with dramatic, dramatic role, he asks the assembly without a choice. If they prefer to send him into space, too many times Godzilla returned from under the earth, under the sea, they may say feel safe would be wolfies if they can see him floating in the sky. This is how Batman and Robin race off for Katara. In Katara, near the Tsubarada, Godzilla was wildly throwing buildings around a month ago, a month ago mad. As he's no longer in control, he's very brutal. Batmobile pulls up near the vice's these fins and beasts. Batman switches on the good of call. The beast reacts. He still keeps the Batgirl. He's poor, but he's puzzled. The expression crosses his face. He looks for the thing that made the sound. Can't find it. This gets him angrier. He looks, knocks down a few, some more buildings. Batman sets the call on again. Tails Robin. That, the way time is to, Defeat Godzilla in to get his marble side into get to his marble side brain. Godzilla fans a side on the man. So it's Batman. It's means Godzilla brain is increased by his skull. So you think it might it must maybe decorated Godzilla take, but takes a look at Batgirl still struggling at his paw. It puts it down and disbelieves the idea and thinks he may have found something. More than he's liking. If he can only discover the saying, the source of meeting called Bat Batman races for the streets with a sound machine and Gozo keeps following his. Meanwhile, Robin smiles and Debilia, Debilia and rescues the, the barely conscious Batgirl. Batman hides the machine and sets it in the automatic and circles around back towards Bogazilla. 
By a still standing building, Batman leaps aboard because of his tail and climbs up his head because of finally meet hands. Finds a time machine that has simulated a miracle. He re- re- realizes that he's been tricked. This sends him off even further. The world watches as Batman quietly scales Gotham's Goth- back while the prehistoric animal is making mincemeat of the city. The, um, the army stands by, powerless to help, they exhausted all their uh, conventional weapons and dare not use nuclear bombs. Batman reaches the fact Reaches the face of Godzilla's skull. Tear bangs on at his dead life. Now he throws a backward and bound Godzilla's roar and sets an explosive charge. It blows off part of the back of the Godzilla's hand and the beast goes down even faster than Jimmy Sonny Liston. The army stands by, powerless to help. They have resulted all the conventional weapons they dare not use the milk of the worm. Batman reaches the base of Godzilla's skull, hangs up on for dear life. He throws the bat ropes around Godzilla's ear and sets an explosion charge. He blows off part of the back of Godzilla's head. The beast goes down further than Sunny Lister. Batman glides down the boat rope, just as but goes to the deck and just manages to avoid being crushed by the weight of the monster. Hundreds of people knew now around surround the animal. Look uh, up close, not dead, merely stunned. Batman gives orders to put phase three into operation. In a short while later, the heart of the city, with the use of a turbo, turbo, several enormous cranes, because they had been placed inside the must, what must be the world's largest rocket. There is no time to bring Godzilla to the rocket as they fought the rogue, the rogue, rogue, rogue to the Godzilla. Godzilla is being bringing a stir when the cap of the, the rocket is placed in his head and sealed. He starts to struggle inside the rocket. And then... Godzilla is now just being... A short while later in the heart of the city, with the use of several thousand enormous cranes, but has been plastered inside what must be the world's largest rocket. There is a time time to bring Godzilla to the rocket. They brought the rocket to Godzilla. Godzilla is just beginning to stir with a cap of the rocket. To place his hand sealed in, starts to struggle inside the rocket. There is no time for traditional long countdown. It's ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hope for the best. The rocket's fired for five tenths three seconds. It looks like the weight of Godzilla. Maybe too much for the missile, but finally, ever so gently, it, it, it worked. <sighs> rocket's fired for a few tenths seconds. It looks like the weight of Godzilla. Maybe too much for the missile. And finally, the sun is slowly. It shoots it with way skywards for a roar. Japan holds its breath. It goes roaring into outer space to hold an orbit miles above the Earth forever. Because <clears throat> everyone's just being in the stir when the cap of the rocket is placed, his hand is sealed. Let's start this bit again. A short while later, the heart of the city with the use of several enormous cranes goes into a plane placed inside what must be the world's largest rocket. In no time for bring Godzilla to the rocket, so they brought the rocket to Godzilla. Godzilla is just beginning to stir the cap of the rocket as placed in his head is sealed. He starts to struggle inside the rocket. There is no time for a traditional long countdown. It's nine, ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hope for the best. The rocket is fired. First tense, second. It looks like the weight of Godzilla may be too much for the missile. No. But finally, over so slowly, it inches its way skyward with a roar. Japan holds its breath. It goes soaring into outer space to hold an orbit 278 miles above the Earth forever. 
Ready to turn Jay's ball game. Batman and Robin are guests of honour. Bruce Wayne and Dick, Dick Grayson join the party of the box. Just neither of them, but neither of them can talk. Through the same means, they say they are both victims of Daniel Dreyfus being contracted. Their trip to Northern provinces. They should dispel the idea that Batman and Robin are really the same person. Out of the airports, Batman and Robin get in an airplane and take off. A trillion millions of grateful Japanese. Gordon and Barbara are ready to goodbyes as well. On the plane, Batman and Robin turn in the seat behind them and they sit. They sit Bruce Wayne of Dick De- De- Grayson. Bruce and Dick stand and take over the controls. Lift the term, drive Batman and Robin out of their seats. Lift them in the back of the plane and fly off into the sunset. Happy as being saved the entire country for his death, wor- fate worse than death. I mean, I meant Drip Big and Drain Stick. Bruce and Dick stand and take over the controls of the transistor ray Batman and Robin out of seats. Lift him in the back of their plane and then fly off in the sunset, happy as having seen the entire country for death worse than fate. This is from a, a poet, from an outline of a feature film. Batman Meets Godzilla by William Dosa, 1966.